Another underlying theme in the exhibition is duality, male, female, um, village, wilderness, um, beauty and ugliness. All of that plays into, you can't have beauty without ugliness, if, if that's fair to say. Uh, there's male mosques, female mosques, they each have their own roles. They, they, they perform separately, but at certain times, either explicitly or more indirectly, they come together, and they come together to acknowledge that even though they're different, they're opposite to one another, they can't live without another. They have to be combined, they have to fuse together. Even the idea of beauty um, and, and the idea of uh, intentional ugliness can be better understood when the two are contrasted with one another, because it's very often um, the, the, the inversion of, the, of one becomes the other. In the case of their masks, you have these, the opposition between the feminine beautiful female face mask, generically known as Pellier, uh, with a small shiny black face, imitating the shiny black skin of a beautiful young woman um, called uh, Pika, uh, a woman who is, uh, which is ready for, for marriage, which is at the, in the prime of her life. Again, that idea of youthfulness, indicating health, indicating good character. And then it's opposite this, this terrifying uh, conglomerate of horns, tusks, a crocodile mouth, um, under the, the, in the guise of these helmet masks, horizontal helmet masks that are much more massive and, and, and obviously uh, imposing in their appearance. And they refer to this uh, uh, non-existing supernatural entity. And they're very often nicknamed the jaws of death. Um, and therefore the, the category at large. So you have that opposite between aggression, ugliness, beauty, softness, delicacy, fertility, and also this idea of life and death. So even that happens indirectly throughout the exhibition as well.